Police with military tactical gear and armored vehicles. It is a common sight at crime scenes across New Mexico. But today, President Obama has ordered a review of federal programs that help local police departments buy that military gear. Action 7 News reporter Megan Cruz has that story. They look more like soldiers in a war zone. On the contrary, they're Bernalillo County Sheriff's deputies at a SWAT situation from earlier this year. And here's the New Mexico State Police at a situation in Moriarty. Local and state police departments get the military gear through a number of federal programs. But on Saturday, President Obama ordered that those programs be reviewed. This comes after the fallout in Ferguson, Missouri. Many have found the images out of there alarming. Police with military style guns and armor to control the violence that erupted after an African American teenager was shot by a white police officer. Former Albuquerque Police Commander Nick Bacchus says questioning the use of this type of equipment is a good thing. I would ask, do we need it? What is the purpose of it? Does it get us to the goal of serving and protecting that we? Uh, we all want to get to. Several different groups will review the programs, including the Department of Defense, Homeland Security, and Congress. A spokesperson for the White House says few weapons actually go to local police departments. 95% of the property that is transferred to local law enforcement through this program is not tactical. It's not, it's not weapons. It's shelving, office equipment, communications gear. Um, that kind of thing. Furniture. Megan Cruz, KOAT Action 7 News. Earlier this year, the New York Times found out which states received mine resistant armored vehicles from the military. Well, it found that 42 of those vehicles are parked at departments across New Mexico. That's more than any other state.